Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum guys. Today I am going to teach you how to create tables in LaTeX. To create tables in LaTeX, first of all, open your Mac tag. Type the three basic tags first. What are the three basic tags? They are the slash document class. And inside the curly braces, you need to write something like article, book, thesis, etc. The second basic tag is the begin document and the last basic tag is the slash end document. These are the three basic tags that you always need to type in your LaTeX document. Now the actual thing begins that is to create an environment for the table. For creating environment for the table you need two more tags. These tags are just like begin document and end document. These tags are slash begin table and slash end table. Although this thing is optional, this H and this exclamation mark, these two things are optional. However, I will tell you about the importance of this H and exclamation mark in the tutorial later on. The things that are required are the slash begin table and slash end table. So now we have defined the environment for table. Everything that is caption, label, and the table itself will go inside these two tags. Now let's insert these three things that is caption, label, and table inside these two tags that is begin, table, and end table. Now, first of all, we would like to insert table with these tags. To insert table, use begin tabular and end tabular command. These are the two tags that you need to insert table into your table environment. So these two tags are required for inserting the table. So what do these vertical lines mean? These vertical lines are for drawing the vertical lines in the table. Or you can also say column separators. One column is separated by this vertical line from the other. And then what do these L, C, and R mean. C means center. If you want your data to be justified in the center, then put C. So all your data in this column will be center justified. If you type R, then all your data in that column will be right justified. And if you write L, then your data will be left justified in the whole column. Now type the data in the first row. Separate one data from the other with the ampersand sign. To jump to a new row, just type these double slashes. So this is our data in the first row. This one will go in the first column. This two will go in the second column and this three will go in the third column. As you can see, we have specified three columns here. First column where the data will be left justified. This is the separator, column separator, vertical line. And then this C means that this two will be center justified. After two, there will be two vertical lines in our table. And then this three will be right justified, means it will be on the right side of the cell. Now these two slashes means that we are going to start a new row after this row. So after each row, if you want to draw a horizontal line, as you can see in all the tables, they draw horizontal lines beneath each uh, row. So you can do that with slash h line command. If you want to draw two lines, you can type slash h line twice. So it will draw two lines beneath that row. So h line, it will draw a line. And then you need to type the data in the second row. Here we have typed A and B and C. And then these new line tags. So A will go in the first column, but in the second row. And this will separate the data of this first column from the second column. Then B, ampersand sign and C. This will be left justified. B will be center justified. And C will be right justified. Continue adding rows in the similar manner. Now add the caption to the table with slash caption command. 
so slash caption and then inside these curly braces type the uh, caption of the table and now label your table with slash label command as i have already told you about slash label command in adding figure tutorial that this is although optional but it is very important if you want to refer to your this table then you will need to label every table with slash label command but you must remember that every table must be labeled with a different code so this is the code tab one for this table whenever you want to refer to this table you will use command slash ref tab one that will directly pick the table number of this table if you want your table to be in the center then you need another tag called slash centering if you do not put this slash centering inside the table environment the table will be left justified on the page if you want to bring this table into the center you will need this slash centering command okay now let's copy this code paste it in the method and compile it and see the result of this code copy this whole code open your mctag paste your code and now click on these two green triangles to compile the document you can see the result here this is the result of our code remember latex automatically numbers the tables as table 1 table 2 table 3 so it has labeled this table as table 1 because we have inserted no other table so there will be only one table and it will be numbered as table 1 this is the caption of the table caption for the table and this has been inserted by this slash caption command and here you see 1 2 3 in the first row that is 1 and 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 are separated from each other by this and ampersand sign the second row has been added by typing these two slashes this slash h line you can see it here this is the result of slash h line if you remove this slash h line you will not see this line this is the result of this thing and these two vertical lines are the result of these two vertical lines and now let's play with the code and see what kind of changes happen in our output with playing this code so first of all let me add another line here this vertical line can be typed by pressing shift and backward slash if you hold shift and press backward slash which you can find above the enter button you can type this vertical line and now let's see the result compile the document here is the result two lines here and two here two lines here and two vertical lines here as you can see there are no outside borders of this table if you want to add outside borders for this table you will have to add another vertical line after this r sign and a vertical line before this L. now compile the document now you can see these vertical borders at the end of the table now are added okay what if you want to add this line this line can be drawn with slash h line command here so after this row type slash h line and now compile the document again so you can see this horizontal line at the bottom border of the table is now drawn now let's draw this horizontal line above the table as well then you will have to type this command over here slash h line compile it again and here is the result now the table is complete now let's add another horizontal line in between these two rows and see the results slash h line yes there are two horizontal lines okay if you remove both of these horizontal lines then the result will be like this similarly if you remove these two vertical lines the result will be like this and if you remove these two vertical lines also the result will be like this now only the outside border is left 
and no other vertical or horizontal lines are available because we have removed these vertical lines here and horizontal line here. Now let's remove all the vertical lines and all the horizontal line. This border line, this right side border line, see the results. These have been removed now. Now also remove this horizontal line. Similarly this line. The result is like this now. There is only data left and no vertical, horizontal or borderline of the table. Okay, now let's start the vertical lines again. Also type the horizontal lines. Now again, see the results. Yes, here is the result now. To see the effects of changing L, C and R, we will need to type two digit numbers here so that we can see the effect of changing left, center and right. So put it one, two, one, etc. Compile it. Yes, as you can see, this A is beneath this second digit, while here, as you can see here it is C which means center you can see that this B is in the center of these two digits similarly here it is written R so the effect of R is that that C that is the data in the second row is beneath the first that is on the right side of this column now let's change this R to L and see the effect L compile yes the c has come to the left side similarly let's bring this a to the right side change this l into r compile it yes now a is on the right side now let's change this b and bring it to the right side now as you can see this b is now on the right side now let's see the effect of this centering command zoom it out first remove this centering compile the document this is the result the table is on the left side now it's not in the center if you want to bring this table into the center you will need this slash centering tab compile the document again and the table is in the center now okay to see the effect of this edge we need to type some data here so let's type something like i am Roshan Ali. Compile the document. So, as you can see, a sentence is now appeared above the table. I am Roshan Ali. Okay, now let's see the effect of removing this tag. Compile. Yes, the table has gone to the top of the page. Now it's not in its original place. This text is now below the table. So, if you want to force the table to its original, position not on the top of the page then you must type this H and exclamation mark okay compile it and this is the result now let's create another table just copy this paste it beneath the first table compile the document this is the second table I just want to show you that LaTeX automatically numbers the tables so it has numbered the first table as table 1 and the second table as table 2. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching. Keep watching my videos. And inshallah in my next video, I will be telling you about mathematical equations in LaTeX. Bye.